Hi and welcome Moin. to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's service video series for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a wide range of vehicle engines, quickly, simply and safely. The video shows the key working steps for workshop pros. They might take a few minutes, but it's worth staying with them. You'll more than make up this time later on when fitting the new belt and any other necessary components. My name is Stefan Meyer, and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine, so let's take a look now at today's subject. Today I'm going to show you how to change the belt on a Ford Fiesta model year 2004 with engine code FXJA. To change the belt we need our CT881 WP1 water pump kit and our toolbox V04. You need to remove a few components before you can get at the timing belt drive. I've already prepared it here. You need to expose everything in the same way yourselves. Now set the engine cylinder 1 to TDC. For this we need to remove the bolt at the bottom on the crankshaft and screw the locking tool in there. Since you have positioned the engine just before TDC, you have to then turn the crankshaft further once you've screwed the tool in until it contacts the tool. The second step is to lock the camshaft. Since there is no keyway on the crankshaft sprocket, please determine the TDC of cylinder 1 via the valve position. The engine is now set correctly. The next step is to release the tension on the timing belt. For this, push the tensioning pulley upwards until you can insert the locking pin. The timing belt is now off. Time to change a number of components. Please change the two central bolts on the camshafts. You'll find them in the new kit. It's vital to use the counter hold while you do so. OK, you've replaced the two bolts. Please don't tighten them fully, but only far enough that they can still just be turned. Next, fit the belt. To do so, you start at the crankshaft sprocket and continue counterclockwise around the camshaft sprockets to the tensioning pulley. With this tension take up, all we need to do is remove the locking pin from the tensioning pulley. The system is then self tensioning. Once you've tensioned the belt, you need to tighten the two camshaft bolts to a torque of 60 Newton meters. Remove the two locking tools and turn the engine over through two revolutions in the direction of engine rotation before then checking the valve timings once more. OK, you're almost there. You now just have to complete the engine. Please follow the manufacturer's specifications carefully, especially the torques. Remember, take it gently. Place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment.